I think if we look back over the past, oh, let's say eight years in America, uh, I've never really seen such a cognizance in the hard rock and you know metal community about how how America under Bush. I mean, whether you agree or disagree, it's it's devolving at a manic rate. So, uh, you know, why don't you tell me why you guys recorded the song "While America Sleeps" and you know what those lyrics are really about? Yeah, well, I, I'll tell you, there's there's two stories about that. Okay. Um, and the first, just in terms of where the song came from initially. Um, there was a song that Babylon AD was writing for their second album uh, back in 91 called While America Sleeps. Okay. And, um, and they, they worked it up. They demoed it. They, they loved it. They, you know, Ron was telling me how, how the uh, audiences at, at some of the festivals just really dug the song and were asking when it was going to be coming out. And um, the, the record label said, forget it. We don't want it on the album. Wow. So they were bummed, but, but that's where it was left. So it was, it was just a demo. And uh, so Ron, you know, when we were looking for songs uh, for this album, he brought it up and said, you know, I'd really like to do something with this. You know, we don't have to, don't have to keep the same lyrics and melody, but I definitely want to want to try and get that similar vibe. Okay. So, so when you listen to the song, the intro to the song and the outro to the song are actually the demo from 91. Wow. And then, and then everything, you know, and, and you're getting kind of the, the scratchy old feel and, and uh, you know, it's definitely rough. You know, Ron was even saying that the end of it where it, where it fades out and slows down, he actually manually did that on the tape. Dang. Um, you know, on the reel, he was slowing the reel down as they were finishing the recording. So uh, that's pretty cool. Um, in terms of... In terms of the the meaning of the song, it's definitely you know you say over the last eight years what's happened in America and and um, you know the the way this country is going um, that definitely played a lot into into writing those lyrics and right. combination of um, you know feelings about how you know what government's doing or maybe not doing to uh, to to get this country where it needs to be and where it used to be, you know. I mean, it definitely is a great com country that's uh, that's uh, you know falling by the wayside at this point. Um, and and also, you know, touching on the you know the idea of of the homeless and and um, you know how they're you know these these are people who were were you know really they they should have been able to contribute to society and for a variety of reasons, some of them not of their own doing. Um, they're unable to, and nobody's there to help. And and it, you know, you just wonder if maybe somebody gave them a leg up, then they'd be there to to help somebody else out and and better the country. Definitely. Well, I mean, overall, it's just a it's a pretty deep song, and it's a really damn good song too. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Uh, you know, unless people think that Serum is this uh, politically charged band, let's get into uh, one of the Arena Rock songs, one of my favorites. Once again, it's called Thirty and Dirty. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you're familiar with the band Big Cock that features Robert Mason and Dave Henserling. I can I guarantee. Oh, I'm sorry. Was you are? Oh no, I was going to say Yeah, I'm, I'm familiar with. I'm sure. Okay, I I can guarantee you that they're extremely jealous that you wrote the line. I want to get inside her mind over and over like a piston grind. <laughs> yeah, well, that was uh, <laughs> not one of my deeper moments, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, well, I, I appreciate that. I'm I'm glad you like it, and you think that they would uh, envy it. Oh, you know, they can. They can give me a call. We can talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. One of the uh, one of the ballads on the CD is uh, called "What I'm Trying to Say," yeah. and um, you know, it's not really a love song. Well, it, it, I mean, a sort of a love song, but uh, it's really a father telling his son that you know he's not to blame for his parents divorcing and going their separate ways. So you know, since you wrote all the lyrics. Uh, this might be on you. So, is this a bit of a personal song to you? Is this a way for you to communicate with your son, or is this more of a general song that every person who's gone through this sort of thing can kind of attach themselves to? Well, as, as I as I said with uh, While America Sleeps, there's actually a couple stories behind this as okay. well. I um, I actually wrote this whole song uh, back in 2006, almost two years uh, before I met Ron. Okay, and. Um, he, you know, it was just a piano song. I sat down at the piano and, and worked it out and really just thinking about, you know, I, I, I haven't been through divorce, but I know a lot of people who, who, okay. have, uh, who have dealt with it. And I've got kids of my own and, and you know, I'm thinking about, you know, what is it that I'd be able to say or what, you know, how would I be able to say it and, and would I even be able to get it out? You know, would right. I be able to, to explain it to them in, in a way that they could understand and, and the horrible thought of, of you know, a, a child feeling that kind of pressure, weight, burden of, of uh, you know, the, the parents' relationship on them and, and certainly not, you know, they shouldn't, but, but can 
can they get out from under that? Right. Um, and uh, <clears throat> again, when we were writing songs for this album, you know, it's, it, we got to a point, and, and Ron was like, you know, I really want to want to try and work some of the some of the things that have happened in my life into into this album, you know, into the lyrics that we're doing. And and I said, yeah, you know, what, you know, like what? And you know, he said, well, you know. Um, you know, dealing with, with my divorce and, and my son and, you know, and, and how it affects him. And I said, you know, Ron, I actually wrote that song two years ago. And, he, and he's like, well, bring it in. And, and so I did, and he listened to it, and he really felt that, that it, it nailed it right on in terms, of, in terms of what, you know, how things were for him and, and how he felt. And so we, uh, you know, even though it was such a departure from the rest of the album, uh, you know, we decided to record it, and, and I'm really glad we did. I, I love that song. Oh, definitely. It's one of my favorites on the new CD, too. Yeah. Um, do you guys uh, have any plans uh, to maybe shoot a video for the new CD? Yeah, we've we've talked about it. We um, unfortunately haven't got got past the talking stage, but we've definitely talked about doing it. And um, you know, there's there's quite a few candidates for uh, potential video. I know uh, I know Warpath is one of Ron's favorites, and um, and you know things like Foulmouth Blues and Ugly on the Inside yeah. and Broke Down. I mean, there's definitely some some good stories in there that that uh, could be told uh, visually. So. Um, so yes, the answer is uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, I just really want to appreciate you know to let you know I appreciate your time. And uh, is there anything that I left out that you'd like to leave with all of our Hard Rock Haven faithful? Yeah, just uh, just get out there and support your local bands, and you never know uh, which one of them is eventually gonna gonna get out there and make it big. Uh, we're we're obviously hoping to to do the same. Uh, I wanted to to give a quick plug for. Uh, for Ron's Hattrick Studios, because uh, it's amazing what that guy did to to make this album sound as good as it did. I mean, it's uh, you know I'm I was I was just blown away by by the the sounds he was able to get, even though we you know we were recording it at, at his studio as opposed to to going one to one of the big boys. Right. So um, and uh, yeah, just uh, you know hopefully we'll we'll get out there and and play some shows and and uh, people can get out there and check it out. Oh,